you hear me all right over there? All right. Check one, two. Well, I've got a little bit lower end on my voice, so a little lower tone. That's why I'm adjusting this right. Chicken one. You hear me all right in there? Chicken two. <laughs> Paper plates and silverware. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Paper, yeah, that's just something you say in the mic, you know, P for the pop, you know? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Stop hitting the damn drums, I'm tuning up. Yeah, that's right. Damn drums, you know, all that fun damn, stuff. Damn drums. All right, let's see here. <laughs> gentlemen welcome back to the roadkill podcast we're back here at ducky's dockside bar and grill here today and i have mr jason green and mr scott winkleman and mr mike farron down there on the end welcome gentlemen how you doing this is the guitarist episode we're here to bash on drummers and any any other instruments you want we don't need to do all that <laughs> we're just gonna have some fun later on we're gonna be doing a drummers only episode. you mean we, so, you we, know, we, can, you know we can actually talk about them being out of time and we're not on stage with them because <laughs> they're falling this all falls apart <laughs> them and the bass player. How many yeah. times I got to tell them to tune them drums up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, or, gonna, that's right, the drummers are going to bash on us. Well, we were talking yeah, right, they're or, or how easy it is for us as guitarists to pack up and go to a show and we're sitting there waiting on a drummer yeah. dragging 40 bags. Oh, man. It's like I remember taking my grandma on vacation. It was easier than this. <laughs> 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 we boarded the Titanic? What's happening right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, five people coming or one? What's going on? <laughs> So, gentlemen, you, we're all we're all guitarists here. I'm very much a hobby guitarist. You, for those of you that have seen me play, I, I started off thinking I was going to make a career out of it, and then I got some advice along the way: keep what you love for yourself, do something you enjoy for a career. So I put music on the back burner, made it my fun thing. But for you, you guys have been working real hard. I mean, some of you guys have made this some big time stuff. I've seen you on TV. Oh. Like, <laughs> like I've I've seen some of you guys doing some big time stuff. I mean, you got your band shirt on down over I do, there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe's Garage. You talking about playing with your son and stuff? So. If you guys want to, you feel free to share some stories of like where you guys got started, like what your inspirations are, some of your favorite moments, whatever you want to. Well, for me, getting started was a very young age. I come from a family of musicians and military men, and uh, thank you for your service. My man. my first job in real life was a land surveyor. I did it with my dad, right up until about six years ago. Okay. Uh, Coming from the north, it's a real culture shock coming down here to live here full time. Where, where are you from up north? Massachusetts. Mass oh, yeah, that is a culture shock. So, but I, I was on a touring country band up there, and when I moved down here, I thought, oh, Florida, home of Southern Rock. I'm, I'm going home, right? Five years before I played a note down here. Wow. Um, and in those five years, I listened to my son in the other room flourished as a guitar player and I went oh I better start practicing because I'm in trouble <laughs> and let me tell you something if you've I'll not seen him or heard him you've missing something because he's really special I've heard I've heard oh. I've definitely heard of him for sure I've, I've yet to be honored to, to see him play or anything but well, I'd love to see him for honor for me not just for being his dad but for the year, for the six months before he graduated high school I shared a stage with him in the band he was yeah. our other guitar player so he took a lot of that work off of me, which is great. But on the other hand, to sit back and watch that, I had yeah. a tendency of forgetting where I was. Because I'm like, wow. Caught in the moment. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> you get know? Caught in the moment. Yep. He yeah, can't I sing. I love him. He cannot <laughs> sing. Well, it's all right. We forgive guitar players. Can't <laughs> so, I mean, I've been playing 41 years, man. I'm having a real good time. I'm doing it full time. That's all I do. Yeah, you're with Joe's so, Garage Band right now. I am, and I'm also looking to, you know, expand out and be a filler if I need to, you okay. know, because we're kind of slowing down. Uh, but we are something I need to mention. We are very much involved in the Breast Cancer Foundation of Central Florida. That's awesome. And uh, we we sponsor them. They sponsor us. We do a lot of shows that involve that. Uh, our lead singer's daughter, unfortunately, has been diagnosed. So anything that we sell that is ours. All proceeds go to the, the to the patients of. So it's Are there any current like f open fundraisers for her? Any way that we could um, plug right now that you want to? At send the moment, to? no. We're selling our stuff at shows. Okay. Um, we are doing a, a Jeep and Fur Cure in October okay. in Bartow, and that is 
for breast cancer and it's a big jeep deal where they do a, like a parade down uh, the main street you said, you said a jeep a jeep tail? jeep and for a cure oh, it's, it's yes. a jeep thing and those of us that don't drive jeeps we wouldn't understand well you know it's <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. it's still for it's a really it's, it's, a, it's a great it. cause oh, no, no, and, I, I, and for me, me personally I'm not trying to make light of it i just it's a it's a jeep thing for me personally especially for families in my family yeah. but has been seriously affected by breast cancer so i yeah. will be involved in it one yeah, way or another. That's cool. that's, that's, so, yeah, yeah, that's something that yeah, that's something you, you feel. You feel so, wholeheartedly. if you go on to their Facebook page, you will see Joe's Garage Band Lakeland on there as one of the. Sp- okay. So, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, that's cool. Man. That's awesome. Go go on, show some love and support. You know, it's a it's a terrible thing for anybody to go through, and yes, yes. super super cool to see. You know musicians in the local music community really kind of getting behind all that and stuff well we're doing also this will be our second year third year in a row Q for a cure down in gibsonton okay. it's for uh research for autism okay so we we are very involved as you can imagine yeah the band has come a long way in the two years i've been two and a half years i've been involved the only original members of me and the lead singer we've replaced everybody and it's such a tight unit now that's awesome and that's important yeah yeah, and not to mention Ducky's here. This is a second home. They like family. Yeah. My son's pictures hanging on the wall. I love it here. It's a really great place to play. Great environment. You know, y'all need to come out here and yeah, see it. Both, both so, your boys are off in the service now, right? They are. Yes, my oldest son's been in thirteen. Uh, sorry, eleven years. He's a flight medic. In Phoenix, is artillery and airborne. So, and if you've met Phoenix. He looks like a 12-year-old jumping out of an airplane. Was never something you thought you'd happen. Who's this Make-A-Wish kid? Like, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what. He came home last that's Christmas pretty, and he's pretty, like this. I'm like, where? Where did my son go? Yeah. <laughs> where did all the muscle come from? You know. Yeah. But yeah. hey, I'll let the rest of you guys talk. I'm no, sorry. No, no, you're fine. Thank, thank you for you and your family service. That's awesome. Brother. I appreciate yes. that. Sure. Amen to that. That's super cool. Oh, one more thing, just to put a plug in there. My band's called Joe's Garage Band out of Lakeland. Mm-hmm. You have to put Lakeland because if not, you'll get the other one from Hamada Sasa, and that's not us. Mm-hmm. So we gotta show, gotta show the shirt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's Joe, Joe's Garage Band out of Lakeland. So it Facebook. says Lakeland, Florida, down on the bottom there. If you can't Dude. see it underneath the table. And by the way, there is no Joe in the band. The band was named after a song by Frank Zappa. <laughs> That's a cool fact that I didn't know. I was about to ask, who's Joe? No, there is no Joe. There was a Joe. <laughs> there was a Joe. Was a Joe. Yeah, but no, that wasn't why they were named. Joe is no mo. Yeah, right? Yeah. He did I was have, pretty much he, the guy that replaced Joe. He did have a, he did have a garage. <laughs> he did, actually. Yeah, he did. Yeah, you know, know, the funny thing is he, he had is, this yeah. big setup. I know the sound. He, he, had a great, he had a great sound room. Yeah. He had a freaking mechanic toolbox for the sound. Yeah. And the problem with that is you got to have a trailer. It's tall enough to put it in, yeah, yeah. and you got to be Hercules to put it into put it the in. damn yeah, place yeah, you're exactly. playing. Oh, you just got to hire a couple of big guys. That's all. You know. the, thing, the things we do for those those staples of our own. Now, now we have an iPad. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. The, yeah. Mod- the modernization. The, modern age. <laughs> yeah, the funny thing is, I still play a tube amp. I like analog yeah, all day yeah, long. Sounds so much better. Awesome. It sounds so much better. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, Hell, my aunt's older than some of the people I play with. Well, <laughs> tube, tube amps are, are so good that the digital ones are always trying to get closer and closer to, to the tube sound. amp sound. Yeah, you know, the, the, my, my whole thing is, and I mean this sincerely, if you're at a show and you're using a box that's connected to the head, please explain to me what you're going to do if something happens to that in the middle of a show. Right. I mean, amplifiers are the same way, Yeah. but you're more likely not blowing that amp before that. That's just how I feel. That, I, no, that's, that's a perfect. It might be track. just the Gen Xer in me, and I'm old school. I don't know. <laughs> well, old school. Yeah, just having to make enough amp to fill the room. To, like to appeal to the Gen Xer side of you, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Damn right. Yeah, so. yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. Yeah. Constant improvement. Constant. The funny thing is, I'm the youngest guy in my band. <laughs> At 52, I'm the youngest yeah. guy here. Yeah. Show all those old old yeah, losers. Yeah, no. Up. Our lead singer is 61, 62. Yeah. And the only way I can describe Paul, Paul, I hope you're watching this, he's the Energizer Bunny on steroids. Uh, right, yeah. I don't know anybody with that amount well, of energy we'll at that we'll age. We'll have to get him uh, on an episode because I want to know his secret. That energy was Kevin. Kevin? Kevin O'Donnell. Like, uh, he like, used to, like, he did the Peace Train karaoke at Jesse's. Oh, I've okay. heard about it. Yeah. Heard so we were it. playing out and about down the road last week or two ago. I'm looking for Paul. Where the hell is he? I look up. He's standing on top of the bar, <laughs> dancing. 
Yes. I'm like, yeah, I ain't doing that. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> yes. Not well, 10 years younger than you do, and I ain't doing about, that. I'm 35, Listen. and that makes my knees twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, sorry. Good <laughs> stuff. No, that's good stuff, man. Uh, so, Scott, guess, tell us a little bit about yeah, yourself. Yeah, man, uh, Scott Winkleman. I play um, play guitar and sing for uh, Severed One. Um, I started off when I was a kid, you know. I, I played play when I was a kid, you know, I got a guitar from a buddy's uh, closet, you know, he, he had, had it in the closet, I was like, hey man, what's this? He's like, oh, this guitar, he's like, my uncle gave it to me, I'm like, what are you doing with it? It's like, nothing. I'm like, well, can I have it? He's like, yeah, I'm take it, I was probably going to throw it away, you know, so I took it home and that it started it from there, you know, and then I, that was it, you know, and I started playing, so I was like 10, 11 years old, you know, I didn't know what I was doing, but I just kept at it because, you know, I saw... Uh, my big thing was like Metallica, you know, James Hetfield and uh, Megadeth, you know, uh, mm-hmm. David Stain, you know, yeah. like see all these guys. I'm like, man, I want to be that it's so bad, you know, and it's like just kept at it and kept at it and kept at it. And that was it, you know, before I knew it, I was playing, you know, I was playing in bars and stuff and in clubs <clears throat> when I was 16 with older guys, you know, but that's all I did, though, you know, I sat and played, played my guitar and that was it, you know. I didn't hang out with friends. I mean, the friends come came to me, you know, but that was what I was known for in high school, you know, and. I kind of dropped off here the past few years. I hadn't played in like five or six years. And so I got this, uh, I had Severed One for quite a while, like the name and like the idea and, and, and the songs and stuff like that. And um, I, I basically just kind of like started again, you know? Uh, that was it, like, and I just- Catch a fire. Took, took me, yeah, took me like a year, you know, like by myself to get things going again. But um, after that, it's like, you know, picking up, you know, and I, I'm glad people, people are loving it. It's new, it's new stuff, but it's old stuff, you know. So yeah, it's like stuff that people don't hear anymore. You know, nobody plays this kind of stuff anymore. I like, you know, I like all the classic rock too. I grew up listening to that stuff, you know, classic rock, um, uh, uh, ZZ Top, um, oh, Molly yeah. Hatchet, you know, stuff like that. Um, what else? Uh, Led Zeppelin, you know, all that stuff. I grew up listening to uh, Aerosmith. You know, oh yeah, well, the old Aerosmith. It's kind of, well, it's kind of nice to see if if you listen to a lot of modern music, they're slowly starting to like redraw inspiration from that classic yeah. music. It's coming. It's getting popular mm-hmm. again. It's getting popular. Yeah, and it, it's. Uh-huh. I think it's yeah, a great thing. Yeah, they're definitely incorporating. I mean, it was like early two thousands, it was just like, how many synthesizers can we put on a song? We're not even yeah, going to use drums yeah. anymore. It's just all going to be a, a touchpad. That's yeah. all it's going to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're starting to see like song, real music yeah. coming back. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Like back then. Like the musicians were so talented, you know. Yeah. It's like, and, and a lot of times they were like way ahead of their time, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and it's just it's amazing. So that's the kind of stuff I come from, you know. And I'm just so. Are, are you from here locally? Or are you no, from, no, I'm from I'm from New York. Okay. Originally, yeah. So we got two I, Yankees. Born and born and raised. Yeah, born and raised in New York. Yeah. <laughs> the look, the look, Mike just gave me when I called so. him a Yankee. <laughs> I'm sorry, brother. Yeah. Like, I've been here long enough. I've been here long enough. We're touching back on music you grew up with. If you know me or anybody knows me well, it's country and southern rock. Yeah. So he yeah. says Easy Top, Molly Hatchet, Skinner's it for me. Skinner's it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you yeah. ever see me on stage? You'd be Tucker. like, man, that's a Gary Rossin guy. Yeah. yeah. Steve know. Miller Band was a good one. I like. Steve Miller Band too. Growing up, that was another one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Stuff like that, man. It was just he good got stuff. the godson of Les Paul himself. <laughs> yeah. Steve Miller. Yeah. That's so that, super cool. Yeah. It was, it's, it's, it's good. All, all good stuff, man. But yeah, I'm from New York, born and raised, and then I came here 25 years ago, and you know I tried to do do the music thing, and it just wasn't happening. And I went back up north, and here I am again. I've been here for 11, almost 12 years this time. I so. have absolutely no intention of going back. I don't back think I'm going back man. either. <laughs> I'm with this guy. Yeah, well, my yeah. God. 44 yeah. years in winter was enough. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to mess with it. I was just going to say, I'm not. I'm just ragging on on the. Hey, you're working hard enough. I need to make it start sweating. No, you're fine. I. I was just picking on the Yankee thing. I'm from everywhere. I'm a military brat. I'm not a yeah, Southerner. So I'm not a Yankee. Oh, yeah, I was yeah. born yeah, in I Germany. I come from military, but I wasn't. I didn't travel. I, until yeah. I joined the military is when I did that. Gotcha. So. Yeah. So my, my parents were military my whole life. I've, I've never lived anywhere longer than like four years. And it, it, yeah, my, my dad. Yeah. My dad. My dad was Navy. And, uh, he did. He got out of the Navy. And he did reserves. Just couldn't leave it alone. And my mother works for DOD. So I've been around it. You know, my yeah. whole life. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. That's super cool, brother. So, yeah, so before you were into music, what were you doing? Um, I've always been like for trade. Like I've been to I've been to school. I've okay. Been, uh, uh, went to college, trade school, and a college a college after that. Um, so welding fabrication. Gotcha. Stuff like that. So really, that's like my trade. You know, welding gotcha. fabrication is my trade. So 
that's what I've been doing. I'm not doing it so much now, but um, I've kind of moved on from that. But um, I work with the same company, so they've offered me different opportunities. So I work, I work different stuff. You know, we're, uh, fluid, uh, fluid power, stuff like that, uh, hydraulics, things like that, yeah. uh, engineering, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so it's good. It's it's a good job, but. I would give it up if I could play music full time. Well, but that's like so. You know, know what I mean? I, I yeah, I know we all feel that. Way. I know. Yeah. So nobody just goes into music and then just makes it. Like well, there right. might, there no, might no. be the one or two dream cases, but sure, everybody's sure. got some background in something because yeah. music's like it's like making a fine liquor or like a fine beer. You have to it let is. it ferment. And you have to let oh, yeah. it like get into the place. They right. say about ten, like about ten years. They say about yeah. ten years. I suck at really chemistry, like, but yeah, we're just gonna go with the alcohol reference. Yeah, I mean, we're drinking tonight. Let's do it. Back in 2011, 2012, when we put chicken fry together up north it was me and two other guys one was a bluegrass guy who could play like seven different instruments mm-hmm. and there was a kid who had that look and the sound of the new country you know? yeah we were there was one station on cape cod that was number one for like three years straight playing that country music and nobody was touching on it wow. i said okay well maybe we should see what we can do yeah and within two years we we're opening for the boston pops dude okay that's cool. like that's ah. big yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And the last thing we did was open for Darius Rucker in New Hampshire and broke up two months later. Oh, man. Wow. So I knew I was done with the North. I said, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm out. Yeah. I'm usually done with the North when, like, November rolls around. Yeah, and well, drops. you know, there's yeah. nothing. Yeah. 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 Even from New Start York, snowing. and I don't mean to knock you all Start down, snowing, but, but yeah. New England fall, there's nothing better. No, no, oh, yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's yeah, a reason New Yorkers yeah. go up. What, 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 <laughs> what do they call them? Their leafers? Nice, is that what they call them when they come up to see the leaves change? Yeah, yeah. Foliage, foliage, yeah. Foliage, yeah. Foliage, yeah. Foliage, yeah, that's what it is. Foliage, yeah. Foliage, yeah. Foliage, yeah. Foliage. Thing is, though, in New England fall, you can have sunny 70 degree weather one yeah. day and wake up with a foot of snow the next morning. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's that's really, what I was yeah. done with. So how about you, Jason? You from you from here originally? I'm from Miami. Miami? Yeah. So he's really from the South. Yeah, that like was born in Miami, but um, my family had a um, a place up here, a farm up here. That, so they did farming, watermelon farm for years, um, and then basically broke up the parcel, and all the kids got a piece of the land. And so all of my family have, have lived on the land for since back in the 50s. Oh wow! So it's been it's been in the family for a long time. Yeah. So. And then I purchased the 10 acres behind um, the, t- the 10 acres. So we got 20 acres now combined. So, But um, got into music um, my, when I was a, a kid. I used to sing in church all the time. Um, and then ended up getting in a boy band in high school and going to California. Oh, yeah. Went to California uh, for a little while. Back. That's cool. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. It, I definitely had, didn't see that one coming. Had a good time with that for a little while. Yeah. And, um, well, what, was, what was the name of this boy band? We want to look this six, up. Yeah. Sixth Element. Sixth Element? Yeah, Sixth yeah. Element. Right, there were six guys. Six yeah. So, <laughs> That's but, awesome. Anyways. But, um, <laughs> It was it was it was fun, and we ended up going out there, and like you know how that goes when people start getting big heads and they think they're better than others and that kind of stuff. Yeah. And I always tried to stay humble, and I made some really good connections out there. And um, I ended up working with the guy that wrote uh, "Little Old Lady" from Pasadena. Okay. He, like um, he plays the song on on Jan and Dean and the Beach Boys. Okay. Um, and we we wrote a song together. And then um, we ended up moving back to Florida, and I got away from music, um, ended up getting married. And then in 2017, I was at work one night, and I found a guitar in front of a dumpster. Somebody was throwing it away. My there's guitar. a theme going on here, there's gentlemen. Yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. theme. Guitar, a guitar <laughs> like stand and guitar right in front of the, the um, dumpster. I grabbed it up, put it in the truck, and about 15 minutes later, it started to rain. And I always say that I'm like that. Um, I saved that guitar's life, and it saved my life. That's because, right. Yeah. Because when That's I started going like through mu- like um, my wow. divorce and stuff like that, I really held on to music. I really grabbed onto it, and um, I didn't really um, have any place to go out and play. And then I um, heard of an open mic up in Davenport, and it was called Taps and Quirks. Mm-hmm. And it was only a, a couple of times that I went up there, and they didn't do it anymore. And then I went to Carlton's 
And um, I asked one of the guys in Carlton's one day, I'm just like, hey, is there any open jams around here? And they're just like, oh, you got to check out Jesse's on, on Wednesday nights. They have a jam up there. Jim and so Judy, yeah. I ended up going up there and I met Jim and Judy and yeah. they were so supportive and just really just gave you that, that encouragement to just like, to just pursue it and go for it. And um, I ended up meeting Paulette um, up there at the same time. So me and her kind of like just grabbed onto one another because we were just like, <laughs> yeah. she was just getting back into music. I was just getting got like my foot back mm -hmm. in the music. And we just really, we like, like started learning together <laughs> and we still play together. Um, we do a Chase and Jason duo. Yeah, she talked um, about that. You gotta be careful, Paul, at grabbing onto you though. You heard oh, yeah. the stories. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She'll put you in, in a reverse choke. Yeah, you don't know what yeah, happened. Yeah, she get, she get a hold of I you. Love you love I love Paula because she's just full of energy. Oh, yeah. She, like, she positive is, she energy. Is such a pistol. Yeah. It is so yeah. awesome yeah. hanging out with her. Yeah, she's great. She's a firecracker for sure. She's, I, and she's good support, you know. She's always been there, you know. It's like whenever I needed someone to talk to and stuff like that, she'd already been through a lot of stuff, and she was like, she was like a sister to me, and, mm -hmm. and like it was really, it was really nice. She described you the same way. She said you're like a sister. Yeah, sister. <laughs> 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 gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, right. That was good. <laughs> well, he wasn't a boy then. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, that was back when it was cool. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, I got a story for you. I was in fourth grade. And my dad was a guitar player, and at the end of the year, they they send the kids to Camp Squano uh -huh. for like a weekend thing. And my dad was like a, a, a chaperone. The last night they were having a big bonfire. Dad brought his acoustic, and somebody caught wind that I sang. This is before I started plucking. I get up in front of the entire fourth grade class with him and sing All the Gold in California by the Gatlin Brothers. <laughs> and a lot of kids didn't know. I mean, I grew up with old country, like Hank, Willie, Waylon, Johnny, mm -hmm. Hank Jr. I mean, that Good was, stuff, yeah. you know. And what did it for me was my dad handed me a, a cassette tape of the Ventures. He said, you want to learn how to play guitar, learn to play this front to back, and you can play just about anything. Because all those scale up and walk downs you know the mm -hmm. ventures right uh -huh. yeah. you can get that down yeah. it, it, it like, pretty much yeah. is the foundation of where it's gonna I go i don't think the ventures have a single song where it stays in one part of the front no yeah. no it does not and even the rhythm player is ridiculous so yeah. you know but my uncle was the 70s rock guy and he played three steps and i was about five so it was a year of the plane crash okay. and i heard that three steps and he played that note for note and i went that's it right there huh. yeah. that's and cool I started playing, and I was doing the basic country stuff. I saw Skinner live for the first time in the 10-year tribute tour in Worcester Center in 1987. I saw Gary Russell on that stage, and I'm like, that is what I want to do. Because at the end of the Call Me to Breeze, he started doing this thing on his Les Paul, and my brain just locked on. <laughs> now when you see me play live, I do three steps, gone, Tuesday's gone, Simple Man, Call Me to Breeze. Now we've added... Needle in the Spoon, What's Your Name, uh, a couple others. And we've done Free Bird. It's in Alabama, but only in the Skinner Tribute thing we did a couple months back over at Union Hall. Yeah. In that, in that same vein, back in, I want to say it was probably 97, 98. Cause I'm a bit younger than you. But mm -hmm. back in the 97, 98, it was, I, saw, I got to watch the, uh, the, the, the tape from the uh, Van Halen live in New Haven, New Jersey. Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. got to watch that whole thing. And when he came out and played Eruption, I was like, that is the most badass thing I've ever it's seen. Insane, yeah. And then that sort of, I, I, I'm. I've never seen that. No, it's, it's, it's. Yeah, I'm going to have to look that one up. Dude, the '80s were wild, man. So what, what, I, what I will say, though, what I will say, though, the only it, some people would consider this a downfall. The only thing that some people would probably deter from watching this is that it was Sammy Hagar performing yeah. with them at that. And not here, it's here, still, here's it's my take on that. It's still, it's, still it, it, yeah. it, it's heavy because because of, of it's Van Halen. Yeah, like it, that's right. It is. Yeah. Like in you kind of just put up with Hagar, and, and he does he does have some things that that David Lee Roth didn't quite bring to the table. He like a that, singing voice. He has that stadium. Yeah, <laughs> voice. Start with the singing he has voice. That stadium <laughs> energy. David Lee Roth yeah. has that more Yo, authentic character. For sure. Yeah. Right, right, Sammy right, Hagar has right. that stadium energy. Because yeah, kind of I've seen with them both live, talk. both with yeah. with David <laughs> and with Sammy, and yeah. I, I'll tell you, David's got the stage presence all day long. Sammy's got the vocals. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I hate to say that because everybody's like, hey, David Lee Roth's great. Have you heard him lately? Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. It's true. He just yeah. needs yeah. not to be at that microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, but the dancing and the flipping and all that crap. Yeah. Sure, that's all. Yeah, he's a showman. Yeah, he's a showman. Yeah. But, the, the, so, so, but I've seen him play Eruption Live twice. And well, let yeah. me tell you something. Videos do it no justice. Yeah. you got to be there to feel it. And yeah. Then, oh, my God. I mean, talk about, like, for all of us as guitarists, I mean, talk about, like, the godfather of the modern day electric mm-hmm. guitar. I mean, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. The, you hear some of the story, like, you, if you've ever seen the documentaries, you're going think about how he changed the electric guitar just to play it the way he wanted to play it. That's right, yeah. It's he had that moderated that Frankenstrat. He, yeah. he changed a bunch of stuff up. He wired it differently. The, the reason he's got have, Gibson yeah. parts in a Fender. Uh-huh, yeah, exactly. Well, it you, <laughs> have, yeah. you have the In a Jackson house, neck. You have yeah. the yeah. 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 because of him. Oh, Kramer, okay. sorry, not Jackson. Kramer, Kramer yeah. yeah, Kramer neck. Yeah, yeah it's just it's crazy to think about how much it changed and and why we get to play the music we play now, especially those of us that play the rock and roll. Well, right, or even yeah. country, country is country is considered modern day like rock star because you know they say rock and roll died at the end of the eighties, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. But country really picked up that mantle. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, when I, I remember, that's how I learned how to sing was. Listening to country, you know, singing to yeah. country, you know, Haggard. Hank Williams Jr. Yeah. Haggard, I, yeah, all that, you know, that's how I learned how to sing was from that. I didn't learn to sing, you know, from the metal stuff. You know, I started off with country and I sang that, you know, and then I was like, what is this? You know, and I was like, whoa, it blew my mind, you know, and I was like, holy shit, what is this? I need to listen more of this, you know. So yeah, I, have any of you ever had the honor to see Charlie Daniels live? No, I've no. never seen Charlie Daniels live. No. Mm-mm-mm. No. That's all I can say. I got no other words for it. It's if like, I, great if I had a list of all the concerts that I had an opportunity to see and missed out on, it'd be a long list and yeah, be very right. sad. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah, would be yeah, one. Too, yeah. For me, my biggest miss was not seeing Merle Haggard. <laughs> Really? Oh, really? I never saw Merle live, and I wish I could say I did. Uh, I, I had an opportunity to see both Johnny Cash, speaking of the shirt you're wearing, and ACDC before yeah. everybody started retiring and dying off. And yeah. I, I, I missed both of them because of work and other obligations, oh, man. whether it be financial or whatever. And I regret both of those so yeah, much. Man. Being a country guy, Jason, I've I been meaning to, to ask you this. Who was your biggest country influencer? Like, what got you really Ooh, into country music? Oh, yeah, I want to know that, Jason. What is your George, biggest? George, George Strait, and wow. Randy Travis. King wow, George, really? can't go yeah, wrong yeah, there. Okay. Really? And Randy Travis, yeah. I love Mike. For me, it was Waylon Jennings. Yeah, well, I love <laughs> Waylon Jennings, too. But my, my grandma was, uh, kind of, like, she loved her some Randy Travis, and she would... She'd put that record on and and sit there and listen Good to Randy grandma. Trash. And so and that's I I I get to um she tells me she's just like she she's like your voice tone sounds a lot like Randy Travis. And she's like when you like if you sing his she's like your tone mm. like you have like that can voice yeah, it sound, it like was, like yeah, Randy sound, Travis wow. does. So I get that when yeah, I do Jamie Johnson because so with I'm Jamie Johnson I found my sure. my lips. I'm just like okay that's what cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See Jamie Johnson for me is the nowadays Well and Jennings. Okay. So when I sing in color or anything by him I try it, it's my tone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I'm not trying to strain to go too high or whatever. It's like it's right, right, right there. Yeah, yep. right, that's yep. what it, yeah, that's I my that's problem. My experience is like, that's, yeah, that, it, that's what it is. My experience too is that same. It's like um, you don't exactly have to sound exactly like them, but it's that tone, like you're saying, mm-hmm. like just that that tone that you're in, like the cadence, the tone yeah. where you're at. Yeah. Well, yeah. and that's that. Like whenever I like, get song selection, whenever you're picking songs that you're gonna be singing uh-huh. and yeah. performing, yeah, pick something that you want to you want to you want yeah. to pick those that's gonna be comfortable for your mm-hmm. voice and your range, especially for the because, long term. Yeah, know, exactly. You're on, because you're playing all night yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. You yeah. start you start picking songs that's gonna really stretch you out there. Yeah. And you're not prepared for it. Yeah. You're gonna end up losing. Well, yeah, that, yeah you'll yeah, learn yeah. that lesson real hard. I've so done, I, I've done that. I've I, done I grew up on '80s mm-hmm. hair metal. I mean, like we talked about, like Van Halen. <laughs> and all so when I when I started playing, especially when I got with bands and stuff, I would like try to do you know all that crazy <laughs> stuff, like you know Journey yeah, and all oh, stuff. Yeah, and I'm sure, like, yeah. my voice is down here. Yeah, my yeah, yeah. my wife, <laughs> my wife's British, and she was born in '81, so she's eight and a half years younger than me. And she's shoving that '80s music at me. She's like, this was the best decade. So I lived that decade as a teenager. <laughs> I can tell you, it wasn't. <laughs> 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 You were young in. Yeah, yeah, I was going through was high wild. school. It was yeah. wild. You were actually living. I like this is a lecture. I was born in '89. I was born in yeah. '89. I'm like, man, I missed out on the '80s. It was so yeah. awesome, and yeah. I loved it forever. Yeah. I still love '80s music. I think it's fantastic for what it was. Yeah. But it, the, the, then I have folks that come to me and they just.
just go, you didn't live through it. No, you <laughs> didn't. It wasn't back, right? Exactly. Yeah. The madness. It was, yeah. it was unhinged. <laughs> I was in seventh grade when the, the Challenger blew up. Oh, wow. Now, we were all in class. That. I remember yeah. that, yeah. And they all had TVs because I'm from New England, so the teacher that was going up was from New England. So every classroom had a TV. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's yeah. funny. I'll never well, forget I was that. out on the football field right here in town watching it to, and watched it. To, like, go up? Watch it, watch it go, go up. up. Yeah. Oh, wow. I wow. went to a high school, right Gregory, you know, Gregory B. Jarvis. Yeah. I went to the high school that I went to that we, as that he went to, he was from my hometown, Gregory B. Jarvis, the guy that went, the astronaut that died in the, in the Oh, in man. Town. Yeah, so, and I went to, it's Mohawk, uh, Mohawk, New York. It's the high school in Mohawk, New York is Gregory B. Jarvis High School. Yeah. Huh. Yep. Yeah. That's Have y'all ever seen, you, that. Yeah. you ever seen teachers turn TVs off real fast? Yeah, that oh, I yeah. Oh, yeah, huh? yeah. I mean, it went from like, what the hell to they just shut it off. I've never seen my teacher run. Oh, wow, yeah. Like ever. <laughs> Till wow. that. Yeah. yeah. It was pretty bad. That was pretty loud. That's back when, uh, ah. back when censorship are we, was. Are, a we, thing, are yeah. we going over our time? No, we got plenty. We, we can talk as much as you guys want to. But no, it's like. So I ain't got to work tomorrow, so I got time. No, yeah, 9 11. Yeah. I remember, I remember, need I remember some more beer. Well retired, like, life, man. <laughs> so, we need a beer at, break. At, at, well, yeah, but real quick, I'll, to that same thing, like, I don't remember the challenge. I remember 9 11. But to yeah. the same thing that you're about to experience with me saying, I don't remember the challenger thing. I, on my day job, I work with a bunch of young adults, you know, 21, 22, 23. 23, and I'm like, oh man, you know, 9 11 was crazy. And like, yeah. oh, I wasn't born yet. Yeah, yeah. like, oh, oh yeah. I remember yeah. exactly so, where I was and exactly what I was here. doing. Me too. Yeah. Me, too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Yeah. I was opening a gym in California. Hey, wow. 4 30 in the morning. I had to wake up in the morning to open the gym. Uh. And it was, I rode my bicycle right by Michael Jackson's mansion every morning. That's cool. Yeah, nice. so that was, cool. yeah, kind and of crazy. Did, that, did you ever, did you ever huh? just hear a little, and you did that, small? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been like I, I got my build my Warby. frame from my <laughs> Cap, Captain Worm chiming in from outside. Man, stage, he but. starts moonwalking on stage. I'm gonna pay tickets to see that. <laughs> he's, he's, he's gonna just tell you it's one of those old boy band moves. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> big, big money moves. <laughs> oh my god! Check out the six. I want my money back. He starts twerking. Though, I'll tell you. All right, guys, we'll, we'll sign off here for a beer break. If you guys want to plug your bands, where we can find your music real fast. We start Go ahead, man. Up. You guys start. I'll do it. Well, after. I'm Mo Green, and we're going to be playing the 4th of July in Haines City. Okay. Um, we start at 5.30 to 6, and then I'm going to be singing the national anthem um, before the fireworks go off um, approximately between 9 and 9.15. I know you probably won't end up having this podcast before. That goes down, but maybe we'll see. We'll we'll plug we'll plug the clips from it anyway. Right. We'll plug yeah, it in. That's right. super cool, cool. man. Yeah, well, cool. Where, where can we find your music on? Like, you have a website. You have a, like um, a SoundCloud. Um, Jason like? Green Facebook, um, and then all my a lot, lot of my videos are on there. And then I got a Chase and Jason page, and then I have a YouTube um, channel that I just got like rolling. So I'm starting to put the um, videos to that. Gotcha. We'll plug all your guys' links down below on right. the, on the, in the comment it. section. Yeah. Thank sure. you. Yeah. So uh, we got uh, Severed One and. Uh, you can find it reverbnation.com slash severed one. There's a bunch of songs on there, original music. Um, Facebook, obviously, uh, Severed Ian and Facebook, uh, Severed One. Uh, find everything that we do. We come out here to Duckies all the time. So we're out here playing all the time. Duckies. Yeah, open jam. We do that all the time. We love it. Come out here. It's great. It's super relaxed. You know, a lot of people come, have a good time. Um, other than that, um, I don't really have anything. I got, got YouTube, Scott Winkleman on YouTube. So I'm like kind of like him. I'm a. Uh, just, just kind of starting it, putting some stuff up on there, videos, that, that kind of stuff. Uh, so that's it, man. You know, like, it's, it's all I got for that, really. But uh, yeah, check it out. It's gonna be, it's heavy metal. So check it out. <laughs> Rock hey, on. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, it was mentioned earlier. I'm in the Joe's Garage Band out of Lakeland. Yep. Like I said, Lakeland. Because if you do the other one, you're gonna find the other band, Three Piece, not us. Uh, we are playing Duke's uh, Brew House in Lakeland this coming Friday. And that'll be our last show for three weeks. Okay. And then we'll be right back at it again. Where can we find so, like your show listings or music online? Uh, you can find us at Joe's Garage Band Lake. We don't have any. Uh, Paul kind of runs all that. Uh, I'd like to put some more on YouTube and stuff. We have a bunch of videos on our on our message board to the band. We pick and choose if we want to. But I'm not in charge of that, or it'd be a lot more. Well, on you guys on like so. Facebook? You said you're. Yeah, Facebook. You guys, yes. Gotcha. It's, and uh, Facebook, YouTube. 
Joe's Garage Band. Yeah, the old the ones on YouTube are kind of the older videos. What we have now, I think, needs to be put out there because mm. the band, as I said earlier, is a lot tighter than it used to be. Yes, we, we got a lot coming cool on the say, pipeline yeah. for the podcast this season. We'll be able to feature a lot of you guys cool. on it. So I mean, we try we try to keep. That. We have our bass player plays a, a mean guitar. He's an amazing guitar player, and I was in another band with him, obviously. And Brad, who plays keys and piano and bass, and during the show we change i'll oh, play i'll good. play bass yeah, too and cool. it's yeah. always fun to see versus so it like gives that. a bass player who likes to play slide and there's nobody in the band can play slide like him so we there you that's go dude. Thing. oh nice that's musical cool. instruments so, yeah well, that's cool well yeah well, you know, you i mean before it was just me guitar one bass drums and a singer <laughs> yeah, right yeah stop bragging so <laughs> hey we're we we might be that good <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm supposed to. <laughs> guys, thanks for tuning in to the Roadkill Podcast, sponsored by Ducky's Dockside Bar and Grill. Come on out, grab a bite, grab a beer, check it out. You yeah, can't man. beat that sunset. I'm telling Hell you, no. you can't awesome. find a single bar in here that can beat that sunset for sure. Thank you, guys, for for hanging out, joining us tonight. We'll go have you guys again sometime thanks soon. Thanks for having us. Keep thanks, an eye out for more stuff coming this fall. All right, guys. Yeah. All right.